Hey, what's up Morales community? We already know that Morales streams are the best way to get live information out of the blockchain, including the ERC20 token transfers for your assets. So in a traditional stream, you can get the information of all the transfers which are happening live on the blockchain, and we can always know the value of that transaction. However, what happens if we want to know which is the balance left of the account which is sending those tokens? Of course, you can use another of our endpoints on the Morales API to get the native balance by wallet for a specific token. But what if I told you that you can get the information inside of your stream? And this is Morales Triggers, a way for you to not only know all the transfers which are happening live on the blockchain, but also know which is the left balance of that wallet after that transaction on the same petition. So if you want to know how to accomplish this, keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. If you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level. So I have a traditional stream here to listen to all the transactions happening on the USDT token. If you haven't created a Morales stream ever before, please check out all the videos we have on that matter because we have complex tutorials explaining step by step how to create your first stream. And we also go through the steps to get the ABI of your smart contracts and also setting up some filters like this one on which we are getting the transfers of the USD token from this amount and above. And for now, this stream is on demo mode. It means that we are going to just have the information shown up here on the web page, but we want to use it on our own projects. So we have to set up a webhook URL on which we are going to send that information. So first of all, let's create a mini server using JavaScript. So as you can see here, I have a really simple server using Express, which is going to run on the port 3000. And for now, it's just going to take the information which is going to come from Morales. And if we run this in the console, we have a live server right now. However, as you might already know, we are running this on localhost and Morales Streams requires an actual webhook to connect to. So in order for us to do that, let's create a tunnel using ngrock. So ngrock on the port 3000. Now we can use this URL provided here, which is going to be connected to our local server. But now with this URL, we can use it on our stream. So we can just change this over here and update our stream. Cool. Now we can change this to production and we are going to get all the information we are getting here on the web page on our actual server. But of course, we don't want to get the information out of a stream as it is. We want to have this trigger. So please don't forget to check out the trigger documentation you're going to find on the video description. And here we have how the trigger works. And as a standard, all ERC20 tokens has this function called balance of, which as its name says, just returns the balance any wallet address has of this specific token. In this case, USDT, which is the one we are using on our stream. So we can take advantage of these read only smart contract functions and include it into our stream. So to accomplish this, let's create a new file called update stream. Js, on which we are going to add that trigger. First, we need pretty standard imports such as Morales .m for getting the API key on the .m file, and we are going to have a variable called stream to store the stream we want to modify. So first, we need the ABI. In this case, the ABI for the USD token, but we don't need all the ABI. We just need the corresponding item for the balance of function. So let's go to the code on etherscan and copy all the contract ABI over here. Let's create a new file here called abi.json and paste it over here. Over here, let's look for that function, balance of, and here we have. So we just have to copy this part, copy here, go back to the updated stream.js and paste it over here. And with that, we have that read-only function we need. The next part is to create the trigger here 
we need to set up some information. First, we need the contract address. As we may be using different addresses and not just USDT, we can just use selectors as this one and parsing up the contract address over here. We need the function we are going to call. In this case, we already know is balance of, which comes from this ABI. The inputs are going to be the ones we are reading from, in this case, from, because we want to get the information of what is the balance of the sender address and the type of function we want to use, in this case, ERC20 transfers. And if you give a check to the Morales documentation, you are going to find that trigger supports transaction logs, ERC20 transfers, ERC20 approvals, and NFT transfers as well. We are now creating just one trigger, but Morales actually supports more than one trigger. So we are going to set up this as an array of triggers. And finally, we just have to start the Morales server, connect to that stream, and add this trigger. So basically over here, we use Morales.star, we send over a API key. This is the one from our Morales account. Just don't forget to add a new .env file here and set up your API key over here. And after that, we are getting all the streams for that account. And as we know, we just have one stream right now. I'm just getting the one on the index zero and getting its ID. With that ID, we can use Morales streams.update, send over the stream ID. As we are now supporting Aptos, we have to specify we are working on this case on the Ethereum EVM. And finally, we send that trigger we just created. If you felt kind of lost with all of this explanation, remember all the code is going to be on the video description, so you can just clone this out and try it yourself. Let's try this out, running node datestream.js, click enter, and everything goes well, and it seems everything went well. So let's check if that's true. So let's go back to the admin panel and as you can see here on the trigger section we have this trigger right now and the reason we created that using code over here because it's easier to get the api over here from the contract instead of setting up that manually here so i think we are now ready to use this let's try to run this again and now here on the erc20 transfers we have a new section called triggers and here we are getting the actual value. It seems after these transfers, this account got empty, but let's check another one. And as you can see here, this is the left balance for this account after this transfer. So yes, now we have all the information we want and we can use that on our server. So before changing this to production, let's use that information on our code. So instead of just using a console log over here, let's do something more advanced. First, we're going to get the transfers from the webhook response. And now we are going to loop through those. And we do that because sometimes one wallet performs more than one transaction at once. So let's create a for loop for that. So basically I'm taking all of those items, get from to value and triggers, which is the information I want and then create a new variable for each one of those. Also for the variables, which represents the actual value, I'm just using some formatting because remember USDT has six decimals. So the only thing left for us is to use a cool console.log statements here as we have at the beginning of the video. So let's run that server again with no index.js and now we can change the stream to production. So let's go back to the admin panel, change this to production. If everything goes well, this is going to connect to the tunnel we create using ngrock. And now we can go back to the stream section and change this from paused to active stream. And now on our console, we just have to wait and we are getting that information. All the transfers which are happening live on the blockchain for USDT and we have the information of the sender and the receiver accounts which was the amount and also the balance left for the sender address as easy as that and that was it for today's tutorial don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the git code repo so check out the link on the description and as you are already here click over here to subscribe to Morales channel to turn on the notifications and also check out more videos Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.